Oh, oh my God. Why did I ever install these? Last year, we installed a set of $800 entry-level coilovers, and they've been on the car ever since. But do you ever get the feeling where you buy something and it's not quite what you really wanted, but you, you talk yourself into thinking that, oh, it's, it's not really that bad. It, it, it's fine, it does the job, it does what it needs to do. Essentially, you're settling for less. Well, that's exactly the case with these coilovers. When I first installed them, I figured, let's give them a go. Let, maybe the cheap coilovers have stepped their game up and we can save ourselves a couple hundred bucks. Well, it turns out, not surprisingly, that is definitely not the case. They're stiff, bumpy, bouncy, and I can't tune that out with the damping adjustment. There's no camber adjustment. Oof, a little rubbing, a little rubbing. I need, I need more camber, <laughs> but there's no camber adjustment. The only thing they're good for is to lower the car and get rid of some of that wheel gap. But overall, compared to the stock suspension, I feel like they're a bit of a downgrade, especially in terms of comfort. So we need to change it up. Uh, I haven't driven this car during the winter, but when I took it out recently, because it's starting to warm up, it feels bad, it feels terrible. I can feel every single bump and crack in the road. We need to do something different. It's still fun to get out and drive though. And this exhaust sounds really good. We've got a new set of coilovers from Race Comp Engineering that we're gonna be installing on the GR86 today. These are gonna be a massive upgrade compared to what is currently on the car, so I'm super excited. Let's get the car up in the air, get the old ones off, and we can take a look at what's inside the box. everything out of the way inside the trunk just to give us a little bit more room to work but you can see there's two nuts left holding the coilover in place so I'm gonna remove those and we'll get the old ones off so I left this bolt that's holding the coilover to the lower control arm in so when I unscrewed the nuts on the top hat it wouldn't just drop straight down but I can't seem to get this bolt out now and this is just another thing about why you shouldn't buy cheap coilovers it's build quality this this bolt should not be stuck in the lower mount of this coilover okay threads seem okay let's pull this out I can't make this stuff up guys. I've run into another build quality issue. So when I installed these, these nuts threaded on there just fine, weren't cross threaded. But when I went to remove that one right there, it has completely seized up. So I'm likely going to have to break the stud off. And this exact same thing happened to me a while back with these coilovers. I actually had to replace the top hat on the passenger side. You can see the hardware is a little bit different than the one here, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, he-man that and hopefully we can get this off. There it goes. It seems as though the same thing is happening on this nut as well. I was able to turn it just fine for a couple turns and then it has gotten super tight. So we're gonna break both of these off. Fantastic. We 
had to snap off both of the studs and I think I know why. So like I said, wasn't cross threaded. I was actually able to unscrew these all the way to the top of the stud and then they seized. But if you look at this one, I'm not sure how well this is gonna translate on camera, but you can see that the threads on this are just fine. But if you take a close look, you can see that the coating on the threads is starting to crack and peel and that is likely what caused this to get all gold up and seized. They're just using crappy hardware, go figure. Here's a better shot of the coating that I was talking about on the hardware of these coilovers. You can see it's cracking there. And these were only on the car for a couple months and not really used all that much. So this is, this is pretty unacceptable. We've got the old suspension off of the car, which means we can open up our new setup. So these are the Race Comp Engineering Super Street 2 coilovers. They're geared more towards the track enthusiast, but they can certainly be utilized as a dual purpose setup that's also gonna be comfortable on the street. But if you aren't into tracking your car and you're just looking for an upgrade over the stock suspension, I would highly recommend you look at the Super Street ones. Now, what makes these so special and why are they almost three times as much as the ones I just took off the car. Well, first off, they utilize much higher quality hardware, so it's not gonna seize up on you. RC works hand in hand with KW suspension to build these to their specific specs. So they are uh, specifically optimized for these cars. We've got front lowering camber plates, rear lowering mounts that are sealed underneath to make sure nothing gets in there. They last long and they work quietly like they're supposed to. On the shock bodies themselves, you'll see a trapezoidal thread design that makes it so even if there is dirt, grit, or sand in those threads, you can still easily turn the spring perches. On top of that, the bodies are coated with a special coating to make these essentially rust-proof. They're actually salt spray tested for over 200 hours, and after those 200 hours, they still looked brand new, whereas a competitor that was tested in the same testing environment was completely rusted. I guarantee you that is what the Faction Fab coilovers I just took off would look like after 200 hours of salt spray testing. But these are 7K front and rear. We've got 20 clicks of adjustable rebound damping. Uh, the camera plates are gonna be a nice added plus to get rid of the rubbing I had to deal with. They're also going to add a little bit more uh, suspension travel compared to the stock suspension as well. So I'm gonna give you guys a closer look at these and then we can get them installed on the car. So now comes the fun part. I get to install these and then get the wheels on and then we'll have to check the ride height and I'm likely going to have to adjust these a few times before we get them where they need to be. It's a bit of a time consuming process. We've got the new suspension fully installed and everything is torqued down. Now it's time for the tedious process of putting the wheels on, lowering the car, checking the ride height and repeating that process until we get it where we want. It's getting late outside, so I'm not gonna bore you guys with that process. Uh, once we're done with that, I'm going to do a quick string alignment to make sure the toe is correct. And then we'll take this thing out for a drive tomorrow morning and see how it feels. Oh my god! 
<laughs> so as expected, the ride height is not exactly where we need it to be. The front is a little too low. I also need to add some more camber there. And uh, the rear is a lot too low. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep messing with this, but uh, I will see you guys in the morning. So I've been driving around on these for a little bit now, and the difference is night and day. Huge bump in the road there. And it feels so much better. The car just feels much more compliant over the imperfections in the road. And it doesn't feel like it's trying to break my back. And I'm not grimacing every time I drive over a crack in the road. And I have them set right now to right in the middle, 10 clicks away from full stiff, usually a good place to start. And the car feels awesome to drive again. Mind you, these have the seven, the same 7K spring rates as the ones I took off the car. So the dampers are doing a hell of a job and it gets even better when I push the car through the curvy bits. It's nimble and flat through the corners like you want it to be. These definitely make me want to take this car out to the track. The body, there's less body roll the weight transfer is very predictable and it just enhances the overall driving experience which is exactly what this car is all about. Race Comp Engineering absolutely nailed it with these. I should have went with these from the get-go. No comparison. It did. Gosh, if you can't tell by the smile on my face, these are worlds better worlds better <sighs> i almost forgot to mention there's no more rubbing because i have more camber adjustment now <sighs> hallelujah now i've driven a lot of really nice suspension setups and really crappy suspension setups and it always blows my mind how much better the nice suspension setup is it's not worth it guys stop buying cheap coilovers. The saying goes, buy nice or buy twice, and I know that doesn't always ring true, but in this case, it definitely does. Save yourself a little bit more money and buy the coilovers you deserve. If you cheap out, you're just gonna end up hating your life and you're gonna either sell your car or have to buy another set of coilovers. It's not worth it. Companies like Race Comp Engineering and KW Suspension have spent way too much time and development for you to go cheap out on coilovers like I did. Don't be like me. I did this so you don't have to, but I am beyond happy with how the car feels now. And if you want to experience the same feeling, check out Race Comp Engineering. The link is down in the description. Huge shout out to them. They do amazing work, but I need to get the car back up in the air, take the wheels off because they are actually sold. We're changing it up. I don't actually have the wheels, the other wheels yet, but comment down below what you think I'm putting on the car. And if you guys are curious on the other suspension components that are on this car to achieve this fitment, check out this video. You may think I'm a child, but that will always put a smile on my face. It's too much fun. This is what the car is supposed to feel like. So much better.